today i'm making peanuts i'm frying peanuts this is how we make peanuts in my country if you are new thanks for joining and to my old golden members i love you so so much so i basically have a very neat peanut i have sorted all the junk out so my water is warm i basically just pour my granite into the hot water and then add salt for flavoring immediately remove it from fire because i allow the peanut to sit in the water for a little bit before i pour i let it sit in the water for five minutes then i strain the water the other method for doing this is let the water boil and then remove it from fire and then you strain out the warm water or the hot water to allow the peanut dry <music> So after straining out all the water, I transfer my peanuts into a tray, put it under the sun to dry and in this video, the peanut is dried and I'm transferring it into my saucepan so that I can sit down and gradually stir my peanut. For the base of this peanut, I use gari. I posted a gari video. I use gari, that's how we make gari. So I take some of this gari and then use it as my base for roasting my peanut. I stir it gradually and continuously making sure that it doesn't burn because the gari can burn it can stick to the bottom of the pan and when it happens it makes the frying process or the roasting process very difficult so i sit down you just calculate your time you do that gradually and then when the granite is partially cooked we remove it from fire the reason being that the residual heat in the granite will cause the granite to keep cooking so if the granite is well cooked on fire, it will get burnt. But when we remove it when it's almost cooked, then the residual heat can continue to cook it to your preferred texture. So after everything, we pour it into our colander. And the reason why I do this is to allow the gari come out through the colander so that my granite can be on top and I can separate it from the gari. I'm coming to pour the granite in this colander so that it will strain. look at how beautiful it looks so that is basically what i am doing i love my peanuts not too salty not less salt but tasty we'll allow this to cool down thoroughly i'm just frying one so i don't need this as you can see the peanuts looks juicy it looks well made and it's very crunchy thank you thank you so much for watching this video i love you remember not to depend on your own understanding trust in the lord always and he will definitely show you the right path remember to hit the like button share to friends and family comment down below and subscribe for more videos like this and the reason why you need to subscribe is because it helps my channel watch the ad to its fullest and enjoy thank you thank you so much i love you